Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video. Today we are looking at X Men issue twenty nine. Now um, we've had a lot of trading cards, um, variant covers, and we're actually hit Wolverine. And this is probably his first time that he's been in X Men since Jerry Dugan has been running this series. So he's straight in there on the trading cover based off Jim Lee's trading co covers in the early nineties. It's either ninety one or ninety two. I can never remember. So there we go. So that is the start of our story. So where do we begin? We begin with uh, Xavier reaching out to the world a long time ago and at the beginning of the dawn of X. And as he's about to do it, that you know, they have a little conversation about letting go anger, ideologies, and you know, those things that they used to do. This is about the future. Etc. So he starts to reach out and then a voice reaches in saying, I've been waiting for you to announce yourself. You're not powerful enough to speak to your own. You've got to use your cerebro. You've got to have Magneto next to your side. You know. And it's none other than Doom. Doom is got his own sort of cerebro, etc. And he wants to reach back etc he said you think that you could sneak this in without me noticing you are tainted by uh human traits so basically what he's saying is um you have done human things to achieve what you're about to achieve you know your pharmaceutical companies you know those powerful t taints they're human traits and rather than you creating your own mutant traits etc you've cl clung to these little things etc so anyway um he says Lat latavia is a is a no etc and that is because doom has his own x-men and he says that xavier is not ready to wear the crown and he says that this will end in ruin for you child's so anyway, Magneto just says block him and move him on. Anyway, so welcome to Latavia, issue 29, House of Doom, written by Jerry Dugan. Joshua Kassara is on the art. Marti Gracia is on the colors. VC's Clay and Cow is on the les, and Tom Miller and Joe Bo Jay Bowen are on design. Fall of X is in play. So... The Seven Daggers of Latavia. So this is their mutants. The Dreamer, Iron Cloak, Nerium, I think I said that correctly, Slag, and Volta Doom. And two others that we know nothing about. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Yeah, there's only five here. So there were perhaps two, two more. So this is how they begin. This is how they progress. And this is how they end. And... Basically, he says that um, Krakoa is built on the foundations of sand, except, and it has its flaws. And there is a single point of failure, which is Charles Xavier. Um, because he says when, when it comes to it, at some point, they will invade the Tavia to take the mutants out of here. So they're going to come for you to take you out of there, etc. And that's what he's saying to them now. He's saying that now's that time. They'd finally come for you, etc. So Wolverine being Wolverine jumps straight in there. And, well, he gets his uh, hand burnt, burnt by a uh, vibranium spear electrified through his uh, adamantium and his, uh, his um, hand. So we we all know that uh, Wolverine's adamantium claws, claws can't. Uh, break vibranium, etc. So, he, he, and it, but he does say, you know, the world's gone to hell, and every mutant needs to stand together. And then Catherine's like, we're wasting time arguing. The skies are going to be filled with sentinels, etc. Because that's what they feel where they use their mutants in in the open, etc. Their mutant powers that the sentinels are going to come flying in there. So they um they get stuck in there. Um, and then Wolverine is reminded of a time that he killed uh, one of uh, Doom's subjects. Um, and then he reminds him that, well, if you hadn't shoved him in your damn Doom bot, it wouldn't have happened. He gets called a Vamit, whatever that means. 
Uh, so Doom does not care about mutants according to Catherine Pride. So then we start getting origin stories. So that so which I think is kind of great. They give like a one page sort of origin story off. Um, so for example, I'm not going to remember their names. So Volta, for example, um, her powers were out of control, and Doom gave this spear to help control it once again. Um, making her um, loyal to him out of the thankfulness for him giving her some sort of control over herself. Then we got this big brute who comes flying in. He gets stabbed, but he's made of Latavian rock, which is made of stern stuff. So he was uh, entrapped here because he didn't agree to join um, Doom's mutants at the beginning. and um, But he could have broken out very easily. So... Um, He's come to his senses, I believe. Perhaps he doesn't always have his mind, maybe. But he's come to his senses, and Slag is part of the team. Next up is... Uh, I'm trying to think. Nirium. And she is sort of part the Tavian. So she can... Sort of like Black Time. She can um, communicate with the ground, etc., etc. And she's almost like poison, etc. So she's, you know... She is the spirit of the land, apparently. Her backstory is that she was put in a cage and called a freak at a circus, which uh, Dr. Doom saved her. And once again, thank you, my liege. She is part of that team. So next up is about surrendering. So they only came to um, to liberate mutants. And they said, we are free. And then Wolverine says, well, we're going to leave you to your ruin. He says, I'm afraid you cannot leave. In that deep, dark voice, which I cannot do. Um, and guess what? They have dinner together. Even Miss Marvel has um, some Haller dishes given to her, which is great. So they all have a nice dinner together. And Wolverine is eating some meat, maybe uncooked, perhaps. But he needs the carbs because he's healing, etc., so anyway, and we have a new cable. The future must not come to pass. So um, I, this must be germ for effects. So that will be interesting to see, etc. So I'm trying to think what happens next. <laughs> oh, so they start talking. So cats like Victor. So you knew Krakoa was going to end. You're so smart. What happens next? And so he gives him a, a gift. Of foresight, or does he? Um, and it, once again, he says Charles wasn't ready for his crown, etc. Um, and he closed his borders because he knew that his mutants, etc., would be in danger, etc. And they're alive where your people are not. Now, if you've lived good lives, your friends will rally around you, etc., um, before you are destroyed. Um, Xavier is uh, in a jail of his own making <laughs> and he may emerge a more interesting person, which actually would be quite cool. Bit of a dark Xavier out there. I mean, we've seen dark what uh, him and Magneto can create together. And we've seen some many dark moments of Xavier. So it will be very interesting. So he says, Krakowans be gone by dawn. Doom bids, bids you good evening. So that's pretty much it. So nothing else really there. Um, However, some of the other mutants do um, perhaps not agree with you, but they, they would certainly be in arms and vines if the war was brought to them. So they may have still found themselves allied mutants, which is good, which is perhaps what they wanted to, because this is what they need right now. They need allies. The Ford of X is falling quite quickly. As uh, So they return and they're about to share some sort of good news that they perhaps have some allies if the time comes. Um, however, something bad has happened in the sewers. We don't know what, we don't know how, but something bad has happened and it's X. It's X. It's, it's, um, I forgot what I was actually going to say, but it's, it's, you know, it's happened and and it's going to be continued in the fall of the house of x to find out what happened so sink and talon and i do have that on pre-order i will be reviewing that event so 
which is great. Um, really, really looking forward to that event now. A long time coming, um, and it will be interesting to see how this all ends <clears throat> and what happens afterwards. That will be the big interesting thing. Um, so anyway, hope you like my video. If you do, please support my channel by subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you to those who already subscribed to my channel. And as always, brace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.